Hi guys, so today we are going to go over a very famous interview question, the phone number letter generation prompt. It's a prompt that is fairly common seen um, and asked by many top tech companies. So let's get started. So this is a picture of the phone keypad and you can see that letter 2 to 9 are each corresponding for a set of letter. For example, the letter 2 here is corresponding to A, B, and C and the letter 3 is corresponding to D, E, F, and so on. Pay special attention to the fact that number 1 and 0, they are not mapped to any letter. So, now assuming that we're giving a string making up digits ranging from 2 to 9 in any order, and we want a list that contains all the possible letter combination that the number string could possibly represent. So now, if we have an input string of 3a, we will have the following output. Because, you see, 3 is corresponding to d and f, so, and A is corresponding to TUV, so we basically have DT, DU, DV, ecstatic. So, how can we do that? Well, there's two ways to solve the problem. One is iterative, and another one is recursive. And today we will solve this question using an iterative method. First, we we'll want to define a string array where which a position is stored with the corresponding letter like this. We also include 0 and 1, although they will not be within our input, but we do that so all the letters are in the right place. While taking our example input, which we have 3 and 8, what we want to do is we want to loop through our input, and for each number, we look it up at our array and get the letter corresponding to that number. So first, at index 0, which is 3, we know that corresponding to D, E, and F. And then we will want to store those into an array list, which is essentially an output. So let's create an answer array list. And we'll store those each of them into our answer array list. So we have D, E, and F. And we're done here. Then we go to our list input at index 1, which we look it up at, it is at 8. And we know that 8 is corresponding to T, U, and V. Now what we want to do is that we want to go to an uh, answer array list and then we want to re remove the first element we see as long as the length of that element is equal to our current index position. So what does that mean? Well, our current index position is 1. Use a different color. Our current index position is 1. And then we look it up in our first element in our answer array list, which is D. And D has a length of 1, which equals to our current position. So we'll remove that. We'll remove D from our array list. And we'll append each of those letters to the one to the letter that we just removed. So we'll get DT, DU and dv. Now we'll put each of them back into our array list. So we have dt, du, and dv. Well next we look at well next we look at the now our current first element of our answer array list, which is Yi. Yi also has a length of 1, which match up to our index position of 1. So we'll remove Yi from an array list. And then do the same as we did to D. So now we have Yi T, Yi U, and Yi V. And we put them back. And we'll also do the same for F like we did before. And then we'll output that. We'll output our answer array list as our answer. 
So, how do we do that in code? Well, let's see it in action. Okay, so notice here I already um, initialized an empty array list, um, record answer that we'll use to store our answer, and I also put in the string array for the phone mapping over here. So let's write our for loop. And this for loop will loop through all the character in our input. And um, what we want to do first is that we want to get a current letter in our input. So in our first looping, that will be three. And we want to make sure that the um, first element that we're removing from our answer string is equal to the length, well, it has a length equal to our um, current index position. Then we'll remove that. Um, actually, in order for us to have something removed for the first time, we'll have to add an empty string to our answer array list first. Notice that I'm writing in Java, but I mean it. It really looks about the same, even if I write in pseudo code. So. And um, we want to get the character um, corresponding to that number from our phone list here. And we'll turn it into a care array so we could loop through it. Then we'll concatenate it. And um, add that into our answer array. I mean, yeah, answer array list. So after you do all that, um, we'll return that. And you'll get the output you want. So that's how you do it in code. Um, so hopefully that helped you. And if you're doing counter, in you know one of your technical interview in the future hopefully you'll remember how to do it um if you find this video helpful to you go ahead and click the like button below and if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section have a good day